It's uh, been a long time since we've done a stream. We've been uh, obviously doing a lot of racing outdoors. And then when we haven't been able to race outdoors, we've been recording our streams. Or recording our, uh, our gameplay and uploading them to YouTube for our videos. If you haven't subscribed to that channel yet, then obviously uh, hit the links in the description down below. Um, or if you're watching on Twitch or Facebook, welcome along. Just finishing our warm up and then we'll get cracking. Just under five minutes to go until our race starts, so we've uh, almost timed that quite nicely. If you look at the missing stars on the left hand side of the workout, that's that's the segments that we had to skip because we started a little bit too late. Legs are feeling absolutely gash. So we'll see what happens. We should have been racing IRL today down in Middlesbrough with the Manila Cycling uh, Mark Memorial Trophy. But unfortunately, as is the case with a lot of UK races just now, the lack of numbers. So unfortunately that got cancelled. Right, hold on. Uh, no thanks. Yes. Well, just before we uh, before we head into the pens, we will just change our bike because we were climbing up the Zwift the last time we were on uh, on Zwift. So. We've got to um, change it back to what we would normally race crits with, if I can find it. There it is. Uh, yep, cool. Done. Excellent. Close. Join event. Woo! I'm absolutely burning. So yeah, our, um, our race IRL got cancelled, which is such a shame because... We've been racing quite well outdoors this year. We're up to uh, we're up to nine points. So three more points, and we finally get that cat three spot that we've been wanting for some time. Let's um, get some music going. Just under three minutes. Uh, quick look at today's stage. So downtown dolphin. Arguably, we always say this, arguably, have our favourite race, or race routes, I should say, our favourite route within Zwift. Ten laps we're doing today. Downtown Dolphin, obviously, uh, clockwise direction. Coming out of the pen to the left. Slight little rise as we take the next right, and then a right again, flattens out. Right, left, right, up the little cobble climb. Now, I say a climb, well, it is a climb, obviously. It's more just a little kicker, a little ramp. It's not enough to, uh, it's not enough for my extra weight to disadvantage me. I can get up that climb. He says jinxing it completely for today. Hopefully we can get up today. I see the legs are tired. Yesterday was a rest day, we weren't on the bike, but we did run. Together about four or five k with the school kids. We were doing, uh, they were doing a little charity fundraising thing. So I went along to support. And um, I don't run ever. My knees can't cope with it. So yeah, legs are feeling really tired today. We'll see what happens.
say maybe maybe we're all on XP but someone just dropped one there which was a big waste unless they were coming from the group behind which I doubt is there quite a wee distance already then drop my, uh, my truck to latch onto the back wheel. <sighs> or anyone that, like that there, drops an arrow. Trying to stretch it, no doubt.
chance before the race started to look up the race predictor. Check out any of the, uh, the rival riders. seconds and increasing Down. Another truck.
let's uh, let's drop everyone a ride on. Well, can't do everyone, but I can do everyone if it's in this group. That's it. Everyone's done. Ticked off. Now this one's difficult. Catching a feather for the climb ahead. Especially when you've already done four laps without any power up assistance. It's difficult to not go too hard. Create a gap that you don't want. But essentially, all you've done is waste energy because you've got the benefit of the feather. So the best idea is to try and use it just dial back the effort slightly. That was not bad. That worked pretty well. trouble is, if you get the timing wrong, your weight comes back on just before the end of the climb. Or if you use it too late, you're on the flat and you're light. Although, in theory, that allows you to get the power down and get your speed back up. Obviously this, uh, this aero power up, good for after the little clicker, great for the sprint. And of course I get out of jail card at any time that you just lose the wheel. It doesn't, doesn't really help you that much on the climb.
hang on to this power up now until I need it. Whether that's to close the gap, stay in the bunch, or take it all the way to the line. Now this is where great city becomes a problem. We're on a fourth lap to go. And we picked up the first back marker. Now, it can get confusing coming through the back markers. Who is it you're following? Fortunately, Looking ahead to the map up top, I don't think there's that many that we're going to go through. off slightly, let the bunch come through and sit on the wheel. We don't need to expend any excess energy.
Between I have to go. Legs are starting to tire. The big question is, are we going to have a snap at the end? Because this is obviously going to turn into a bunch sprint. Unless anyone takes a, an early flyer off the top of the final climb. Which is always possible. I'm feeling it. Heart rate's up.
this. I did not have enough to push to the end. rides well I've uploaded yet to Strava or XR well it's obviously XR it's linked to Strava so they need to be on Strava first oh no it's there awesome let's uh, get over this little climb and then uh, that's how tired my legs are I'm saying Let's go over this climb. This is not a climb, this is just a little rise. So a very steady progression of uh, MPA dropping. I'll show you the screen in a second. Blue line. 
is my MPA, which is max power available. Kind of like a battery. So the harder we ride, the more it comes down. So we emptied the tank almost on the last little climb. And then with our sprint, well, I say sprint, it wasn't really a sprint, was it? It was up and out the saddle to get things moving and then a CT depper, which only maxed out at 742. It's pretty rubbish. Equivalent power, so equivalent power in XR is the same as normalized power. So we've got a normalized of 264. So that's two above threshold just now. The max is rubbish. The heart rate average was up, 160 was the average. Oh man, we're getting dropped. Of activity with puncher difficult was the, was the score and uh, we had sustained maximal effort of only 16 seconds. Still, it's not bad. Yeah, we definitely won't be, won't be sticking with this pace partner for long as much as I'd love to do half an hour. The likelihood is I'm just going to fall off this bike, have a shower, stick the Xbox on. <laughs> Let's see if we can target 15 minutes. Bear in mind our water bottle is on the floor and we've just raced so Kind of a bit thirsty. <sighs> Click that link if you want to know anything about XR. Cracking training program. Yeah. <laughs> 
previously head down into the Italian villas, there's a slight downhill. Maybe if I'm in front of Cadence at that point, then we can quickly unclip and try and get it without falling off. So that definitely gives us time to pick up the water bottle. Too much effort. 
you know what? I kind of said I wanted to do 15 minutes. That's 13. I'm absolutely beasted. I don't want to catch up. feel like I'm doing them any good by trying to spin like this. Well, to be fair, 60 RPM isn't spinning. Right, I'm done. Oh my god, in front of 
Cody, myself in third. Rune Anderson from Team CLX in fourth. And then Rod from Team CLX in fifth. The actual results. Jonathan Lundquist predicted to be 29. I actually got first place. Dylan, who was one of the other riders, uh, pretty much the only rider doing any chat. He was predicted to 18. 18. He took silver. Tony was in bronze. Rune was bang on, fourth place. And myself, yeah, predicted to be third. And we took fifth. Pretty accurate. Pretty accurate. It's been so long since I've seen. I'm forgetting what pages I'm on. Let's see if we can get um, drift power. We'll have a wee. Quick peek at our races. Should be. The results should be online by now. Yeah, there we go. We finished fifth, which is great. And all drift power. Yeah, there we go. So yeah, finish fifth on the Zwift Power. Finish fifth, fifth in the race, fifth on the Zwift Power, which means that everyone was in the race. Well, certainly there everyone was in that top five. was on Zwift Power, which is great because I still don't understand why people race and don't use Zwift Power. It's a great tool. Um, anyway, we came fifth, great. Uh, across the entire race in, from ABCD, 51 racers. Network on Twitter and all 51 have been categorized in the top, which means nobody was in the wrong cat, nobody was racing without heart monitor, etc. etc. So well done, the Zwift community, we're getting there. Uh, category enforcement, I think, really helps. Yeah, that's uh, 2858 with an average watts of 2.9 watts of kilo. Don't like 259. Let's have a look at our power profile. Um, 2.76 watts per kilo. It's coming down. Um, I'm not sure why that is. I think, I, do you know what I think it is? I think it's because I'm doing a lot more um, crit racing. Because that matches what I'm doing IRL just now. And those short races, they're bringing down my average power because they're so short. And, yeah, I mean, down down dolphin, it's not particularly difficult. Um, you've got that one little climb, unless anyone's really trying to boost off the front, which with kind of enforcement doesn't have as much anymore because there's less B's trying to race in C and A's trying to race in B. So yeah, much, much better. Anyway, Woo. that's me done. Um, thanks for joining in, thanks for watching. Um, drop a like into the video, subscribe to the channel, stumble, just on Facebook, Twitch, and YouTube. And um, yeah, with that being said, take care of yourself, and I'll see you soon. Right on.